After either the deadline has been met or all the feedback has been received from approvers and reviewers to the review, you can manage the review and close it for feedback. Closing it for feedback will prevent your approvers and reviewers from continuing to add feedback to the review so that administrative tasks can be performed. After you have closed it from feedback, you have the ability to either archive or recover the review. If you choose to recover, this would reopen the review and allow additional feedback to be gathered. From the stats page and then item progress, if you scroll down, you will have the ability to perform two actions, either batch edit or batch transition the workflow. By selecting multiple items, you can choose to batch transition the workflow and move all of those items, say for instance, from review to accepted. You could also choose to select an item and batch edit to maybe, let's say, update the impacted discipline to, say, mechanical and software. You could add a comment if you so desire and have a notification sent to either a group or a set of specified users. From the project view, Click on the reports link, then click run report. Here, if you scroll down, you should have a review center stats report. After selecting the appropriate format from the parameter section, select the appropriate review, then click run report. Here you will see the review center stats report and all of the feedback that has been gathered as part of this review. Every time that content is sent to Review Center, a baseline will automatically be generated. In order to compare those baselines, you can click on the baseline compare to current, select the format, then select the appropriate baseline. So in this case, I will look at version one, include relationships and version comments before running the report. Here you can see my baseline comparison report. You have the ability to see any types of changes that have been made and all of the details. So this is a very valuable tool that could be helpful when trying to support changes to your quality management system.